What's up guys, Johnny here back with a brand new COD Mobile video. Today, the new map Russian Nuketown is finally in the game and there's a new featured event if you click on the left tab, the bottom one called Core Town. Now basically what you have to do is play up to 15 games on the Russian Nuketown playlist. I don't know yet what game modes are available because I didn't start. You also need to get 150 kills and become MVP four times. So you should be able to do that. And the top reward for achieving these challenges is a brand new epic calling card called Ink's Pillar. So it's animated, it looks pretty dope. The rest of the rewards though, I'm not impressed guys. There's a sticker and a spray, a couple uh, purple cards. So yeah, the rewards are not great, but still we're gonna check out the new map guys and see what game modes we have. So let's get into it. So you see the Nuketown Russia playlist is available for 10 days and 23 hours. So basically 11 days total. Uh, you still have for a couple days the other game modes, Prop Hunt and Cookie Confirm. So if you guys didn't finish your challenges, uh, you might want to do it now. Wow, we got Frontline. I don't remember the last time I played Frontline. So uh, the spawns don't change in Frontline. That's pretty messed up. Um, and then if you guys struggle to get uh, MVP four times for the achievements, well, maybe try Hardline on your blue perk so you can get your score streaks faster and then use everything. The stuff that you don't use when you try to grind camos, well, it's okay to use like the operators and the score streaks and all that. You know, anything that's going to help you score points. But then I think it's 50 points to win, right? And you don't want to rush the spawn compared to TDM. Because if you rush the spawn, they're invincible for a little minute. Or not a minute, but you know. And then I'm going to use my UAV here. So I might get a few assists. Predator Missile is tricky also because if you drop it in their spawn, it, they're going to be invincible. Aww. I died trying to drop my sentry gun here. Let's retry. So that's what you don't do. Like push their spawn. Because they're invincible. Now the sentry gun. Don't want to put too deep in their spawn. Because they're invincible. So if you put more towards the middle maybe. How about that EMP system? Is it going to destroy the sentry gun? Or just like deactivate it for a minute? Okay let's try that. Yeah, my sentry gun's dead, really. Thirty-five twenty-four. we should win this. Ted? Ted? He's dead? Come on, man. He's dead. So they're kind of trapped. Not the war machine. Freaking clowns. Poor Ted. The suffering is real. Wow, man. Oh, crap. So it's gonna run away, dude. Not mine, huh? Oof. Alright, that was a good kill cam. But like I said, probably I'm MVP. I mean, we'll see. But I used my UAV twice. Predator didn't do much because it's frontline. But it's easier maybe in kill confirm or TDM. But let's see what we got. Oh, wow. I don't know if it's every game or just if you win, but let me know in the comments, guys. The missile animation. I don't know what trigger is it. Probably it's every game. Yeah, so MVP 26. I got like 700 points ahead of the second place. So you can see hardline and use everything. You should be good, guys. But you need to win. So that was the new map, Nuketown Russia, and the new featured event, guys. You need to play some games, get some kills, get four MVPs. You got 11 days to do so, 
if you want to get the calling card. So let me know in the comments how you like the new map. And that's it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash like, subscribe for daily comable videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.